Hi everyone, we're going to try and make a tutorial to make a uh, CD cover such as this one. This is a CD cover from Solwax, Belgian group. It will look more or less like this. You can read it from a distance but not from close up. We'll make this with Photoshop, so start by making a new file. We'll choose a, as dimensions 500 by 500 pixels at 72 pixels per inch, that's the normal screen resolution. So this is the canvas and this is the background layer. We're start, starting by making a new layer on which we'll be creating a, a circular shape. We'll make sure it's a shape and not a path. Okay, we're starting in the upper left corner and making a, a circle. By holding the shift key we're making sure it's a perfect circle. Don't make it too large. Good. Now we command click on the uh, thumbnail to select the shape we've just made on that layer. And by hitting command option T, you're going to uh, program a transformation for this uh, object. We're going to start by a, a displacement of 10 pixels in this case to the right and only in the X direction for now. Once we're happy with the displacement we can uh, commit to the changes. Now we're going to use command option shift T to duplicate this um, program transformation. We're going to do this all over the uh, width of this document. Now you see at some point we'll reach the edge of the document and we'll just use uh, uh, first deselect the last instance and use the move tool to place it uh, where we want it. By continuing the transformation with command option shift T we uh, finish the line we've just made. And because the last instant wasn't selected we created two uh, additional layers. We'll see that in the layers palette and we'll just merge them down by using command E uh, to create one single layer again. By hitting command uh, and the thumbnail, I can uh, select the shapes I've made and by using an analogous method I can uh, use command option T to program a new transformation. This time I'm going to use a displacement downward so the X uh, coordinate stays the same but the Y coordinate increases by 10 pixels and we're going to commit to these changes. Now again, the magic trick. We use command option shift T to uh, duplicate this transformation for the entire length of the document this time. Great. Now we have two layers and we'll just hide the dotted layer and create a new layer. On this new layer we'll use the type tool to type a text. Notice that I've used a um, quite fat um, font and uh, that'll be good because it will come, come out much better. So now we'll use the warping tool or the warp text tool to, use, uh, to add a fisheye effect 
And center that out. If I want to, I can use the move tool to just place it exactly where I want it. Okay, now I'm going to command click on that thumbnail again to select the contours of that text. Now the text itself I don't need it anymore so I'll just hide it for now and I'm going to visualize the or make the other uh, dotted layer visible and active again. Now the selection is still active so if I hit command J now I will make a new uh, layer uh, with the um, selection on it. I've made us an extra layer and if I visualize only this one I see actually a clipping of that uh, dotted layer from that selection great so now I'm going to select the uh, bottom layer and use a Gaussian blur Zero point five pixels radius is just fine. And for the top layer, I'll use um, also a Gaussian blur, but this time I'll use zero point eight pixels as the radius. Okay, now the best way to see if the effect has worked is just look from a distance and make sure the zoom is at 100 or 50 percent. So you avoid um, well, you avoid distortions. Now let's compare it to uh, the original documents we tried to um, imitate. Of course, it's not the same text, but so. This is the original document. You see a black background with the white dots. So what we're going to do is just add a, an adjustment layer and choose invert to invert the whole text. And we'll make a similar image now. A black background with white dots on it. Now ju just admire your work from a distance. If you want to look at my uh, Flickr webpage, you can find these files in full resolution and see for yourself if it's worth trying. Thank you for watching. Bye.